afternoon. Welcome to the TGSV223 show. Our guest today is um, a marvelous man who has a great story to tell us today. And I'm just thrilled to see um, him be able to make it all this way just to, just to give us a, a brief you know, background of um, some questions that I have for him. So let's just um, ask him to come out. Um, he goes by the name of James S. Hogg, and uh, let's just welcome him. Hello, sir. How are you today? Hello, Tracy. I'm great. How are you? Thank you so much for just coming all this way just to just to briefly talk to us about some things. I really appreciate that. Oh, anytime. Thank, Thank you very much for having me. Okay, well, let's just get started. Okay, um, the first question I have for you, James, um, you talked about your parents passing away and they owned the plantation and then you and your siblings um, took over. Was that was that hard taking over since your parents weren't there? Um, yes, and that's why we didn't um, continue it because it was very hard to maintain. It consisted of sugar cane, rum distilling, and oil drilling. Wow, that sounds pretty pretty tough. Yes, it very it was very very tough. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Um, you also mentioned that you went to school for a year and then came back and became a typesetter for a newspaper. Could you tell us what a typesetter actually does? Sure. A typesetter takes written material and sets it in the type of which it is specified of the designer or the printer. And it could be metal or wooden, just depending on what type it was. And it's a very, very specialized skill. Wow, you don't say. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Okay, um, you also talked about that um, there are some issues with allowing cattle raisers um, the use of public lands for growing without market value, and then you lost the drummer tax case. What? Why was it called the drummer tax case? Well, it was a tax on traveling salesmen that had to do with sweetheart deals that allow cattle raises, excuse me, raisers, use of public lands for grazing without paying market value. Oh, goodness. So they just decided to name it the drummer tax at the time. Oh, okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, I'm guessing this was kind of the progressive era. So um, the progressive era kind of had one main goal, which was to purify the systems to remove corruption. What what was the Progressive Era in general? The Progressive Era was just generally a period of social activism and okay. reform that flourished, basically. Wow. Oh, okay. Just in a nutshell kind of thing? I gotcha. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, just this final last question. Um, hopefully it's not too um, out in the open or anything, but um, how old were you when, when you finally retired, if, if you don't mind me asking, sir? Well, let's see, it was in 1895, Wow. so I believe I was 44 years old at the time. Wow. Well, thank you so much, James. I really appreciate you coming out here and just speaking to our guests today. I just greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much for having me, TGSV223. We enjoyed you. Thank you, sir. It's great. You. great talking with you. Thank you, and bye, everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, it's still recording.